You ignored the rules of engagement in a fair fight, I'd kill you. And that's not much incentive for me to fight fair, then, is it? To set up the game, place the harbors in the center of the play area and the monopoly markers in the neutral positions on each of the docks. Give each player their set of ships and 300 coins. The game is played over three rounds. One player will start round one, while the other will start rounds two and three. At any time during play, players may take loans to be paid back at the end of the game. In this way, no player will be forced to pass on an auction because they don't have enough money. The active player draws up to three tiles, one at a time. The active player then sets a price for the tiles that he's drawn. The other player can either buy the tiles for this price or pass, forcing the active player to buy the tiles at that price. The winner of the tiles places the tiles on a single boat or discards all the tiles. You can't split the tiles up onto separate boats. If the boat is not already lined up at a harbor, the player must do so at this point. He cannot put the boat at a harbor that already has one of his boats at it. Whichever player buys the tiles becomes the active player and this process is repeated until either all of a player's boats are full or all of the tiles have been drawn from the bag. During the scoring round, there are two different ways to score points. At each harbor, do each of the following. First, compare the numbers on the tiles on the boats for each of the players. Here we see this player has 13, whereas this player has 7. So even though this boat is full and has more tiles, this player has a higher total. Whoever has the higher total at each harbor gets 20 points. The second way to score points is using the Monopoly markers. For each color good on a person's boat, move the Monopoly marker on that color track closer to that person. For any tiles with a zero on it, move the marker two spaces. So here this player moves green two spaces closer to them. Another one for this three. Brown will move one space closer. And blue will move, move a total of three spaces as well. This player has a green tile, so we'll move the marker closer to their side. Unfortunately, this player has a red good, which doesn't do any good at this harbor, since there's no red track. After this is done at each harbor, a player scores 10 points for each Monopoly marker that's on their side of the board. Additionally, if they have a Monopoly marker on the 10 or 20 spot on the track, they receive that many additional coins. Here we see that this player will get 10, 20, 30, 40 coins for the Monopoly markers at the harbor. Whoever has the most points after three rounds of play wins the game.